Hi guys, and welcome back to Hummingbird Acres. We hope you guys had a great weekend. Jamie and I got a lot of fall chores done around the homestead this weekend, including taking down the cattle panels in one of our garden beds and putting in some hoops so that we can make some low tunnels. We're super excited about being able to grow lettuce through the winter and yep, yeah, just having something fresh to eat. We're also going to put low tunnels on two of our other raised beds that I planted ranunculuses in. I guess I did that about two weeks ago. Now the problem that I am facing with those is we got a lot of rain. We got over four and a half inches of rain last weekend and they're just really, really soggy. So I'm afraid that those might mold and we might not be able to get anything to grow, but we're still gonna cover them like we would and see what happens. See, see what happens. So let's go check out some of the things we got done this weekend. So here is the bed. Jamie took out the cattle panels and then I put the hoops on it. These were super easy. I got them off of Amazon. I'll link it below for you. And then I got the plastic as well. So this cat right here, this is Susie. She is going to be our biggest problem when it comes to, hey, where are you going? When it comes to these low tunnels because she's going to want in them and she likes to lay on the plants. All right, we got this all covered up. Um, probably not the best and probably not what we are gonna like end with, but it is enough to get us started and we'll problem solve it and troubleshoot it as we go. Um, we can tell you that when I was, when we were cutting it, it is really hot in there. Like really, really hot. I might even plant those back holes again just to see if we can get more lettuce to grow because it's definitely warm enough in there. But we're going to leave this off for now. We'll check the weather and if it's going to get really cold again tonight, then we will cover it up.
So this is my latest Facebook find. This is a Vermont Castings uh, wood burning stove. So we have one of these in our house in Maryland and I absolutely love it. And I found this one online on Facebook Marketplace and it was a really, really good price, so we had to have it. Um, we've already taken some of the parts off of it. The um, doors are off of it, and the top is off. But in, besides that, it's in pretty good condition. It's a 1986 Encore, or Defiant Encore. I found all of the parts that we are missing online already. So, super excited about that. Gonna order those this week. So we have it all, but... I'm so excited to have a Vermont casting and we got it at a really good price. This bed here and this one right here are the next two that I've got to do. We planted the ranunculus corms in here. Um, these are the ones where we did get a lot of rain last week and I'm not sure if they are going to sprout or live because they got just so waterlogged. But this one right here, I must have left it in a pot and it re-sprouted and it's doing great. But I'm gonna cover these up as well. Granddad got a new toy this weekend. He got a new implement for the tractor so that he can move the dump trailer around with the tractor. He was super excited to get it and it worked like a charm. We can't wait to use it some more. Hey guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us at the farmhouse today. I am just ran outside to cover up our low tunnels and our lettuce because it's supposed to get a little chilly tonight. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. If you want to see more of our homesteading adventures, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. And make sure you connect with us on Instagram where we share more tips and tricks to inspire you to build your own homestead. Thanks again and we'll talk to you soon.